Good morning. Can God, who gave a people a, an assignment, can he withdraw that assignment if he is led to? Today we're looking at Jeremiah 11, verses 15 to 17. And by the way, this is coming out of the order that I intended because I just happened to miss these verses when I was filming these. Let's read it. What has my beloved to do in my house, having done lewd deeds with many? And the holy flesh has passed from you. When you do evil, then you rejoice? The Lord called your name green olive tree, lovely and of good fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he has kindled fire on it, and its branches are broken. For the Lord of hosts, who planted you, has pronounced doom against you for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense to Baal. The people have gone away from God. They've offered incense and done Baal worship. They've done their own mission rather than the mission God has assigned them. He says that even the flesh of their sacrifices is no longer acceptable. You know, it talks about the holy flesh here. That's animal sacrifices that have been prepared to be given for God. Do you think that God is fooled if our heart isn't right and we bring a sacrifice to him, if we give a sacrifice of praise or, or whatever it is, but if our heart isn't really praiseful, is God, is God mocked? Is God just, uh, is he fooled? No, of course not. And he wasn't fooled by these sacrifices that they kind of brought kind of mechanically to him over and over again, the heart has to be right or the sacrifice doesn't really matter. God, God is very aware of what's really in your heart and in my heart and in the heart of the people of Judah. When hearts are wrong, their offerings amount to nothing. God planted these people like a tree and he's well within his rights to remove this people if the tree doesn't bear good fruit. I mean, he, he planted it, he, he put it there, he nurtured it, and for many, many years, uh, he has been nurturing this tree. But what kind of fruit has he been receiving? Bad fruit, bad fruit, year after year, bad fruit. And so God can withdraw the privileges and the responsibilities he assigns us. He can withdraw those if we're not faithful. It's happened before in history, and it can always happen again. Where are our hearts? I mean, look at the kingdom of Judah here. They've not only been non-productive, I mean, it's much worse. They've been counterproductive. Unbelievers blaspheme God's name because of the, the way these people are, are misportraying God by their behaviors, by their actions. So that's bad. And then we have here, it says here that they've done evil against themselves. I mean, it's their own behavior that's gotten them into this mess. It's not God that hasn't been faithful. God has been faithful. They have not been faithful. So again, it always kind of comes back to us. Where are our hearts really? Really? How serious are we about Jesus? How serious are we about being sons and daughters of the Most High? The kingdom of Judah wasn't very serious. So the orchard keeper comes, but he doesn't find any good fruit. Instead, he finds lewdness and evil and bad fruit and idolatry. I mean, they're worshiping Baal. And by these behaviors, this people have rendered themselves unable to carry out the mission that God has assigned them. And again, we Think back to, you know, applying this to ourselves. We don't want God's people today to be in a, the same kind of a situation where by worldliness and unconsecration and strife and, and these kinds of things that are all unnecessary and, and are just falling into us, we're following and starting to echo out the things that the world does. If we do those things, we will, God will be unable to use us. God forbid that that should be. In fact, why don't we pray about it? Dear Father in heaven, help your people to be right. Help us to be faithful and true. Lord, there are many influences. There are many enticements. Uh, there are many conveniences and troubles and challenges that we tend to slurp them up. We tend to fall for it. We're very silly, Lord. Please help us to be, to be right people. Help us to hold on tight to you. Help us to look to your word for our instructions. Help us to look to your mission. Help us to look to your mission. May your mission be the, be the guide for our life, not anything else. Help us not to direct our own path, Lord, but to seek you to guide us and direct our path. Help us to be, Lord, a fruitful a tree, giving, giving good fruit. And we ask that you will work in us and, and have mercy upon us and deliver us to serve you better. And we ask for that in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yes, God can withdraw the assignments that he gives out. Let's you and I renew our resolve to be faithful to Jesus. God be with you today.